Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ellie of Digitech Design, and in this episode of Clo Tips You Might Not Know, we're gonna cover how to add seam allowances and notches so you can get your pattern ready for production. So when you're ready to print out your pattern, you need to make sure to add seam allowances and notches. If you don't add this, Whoever is manually cutting and sewing your garment will need to add it before they cut. And it's much easier to do in the CAD software than it is to do with pencil and paper and rulers. Under the 2D toolbar, you'll find the seam allowance tool. It's the one that looks like a bodice with a blue outline and a cursor. So with this tool, we can apply the seam allowances. Note, you can click on the seam and the property editor window will pop up with the dimensions. You can typically assume that 3 8 seam allowance is good for most serge seams. For most seams throughout, such as the shoulder seams, the side seams, armhole seams, underarm seams, most of the garment is going to have the 3 8 seam allowance or close to a centimeter. So let's go ahead and apply that. We can do this one by one and hold shift to edit multiple seam allowances or click and drag across the entire workspace and apply the seam allowance you like. I find it's easier to start that way and then work my way around to edit the other seam allowances that aren't 3 8 I'm gonna add a little caveat. Every factory is different. Some factories may use a half inch or some factories may use a quarter inch across all seams. So it's important to note what you're working with. Most hems are gonna be a little bit more. We have a hem here at the bottom of the sleeve and a hem here at the shirt opening at the front and at the back. So we can select these lines, hold shift. Let's say our hem seam allowance is 3 fourths. I'm gonna go in and put 0.75 and click enter. Now we have an extended seam allowance. Now it's time to go in and add our notches. Our notch tool is located over here. It looks like an eye notch with a cursor. So I like to add in a notch one inch below the armhole and you can specify the distance by right clicking and then inputting the distance right in the line one, just so you know, line one is in yellow, that's indicating that this is the distance we are referring to and the blue would be this. So I just click as close as possible so that I know which number is shorter or you can go by color and click okay. And now we have a notch at our underarm about one inch or exactly one inch away from the underarm seam. So we need to add a corresponding notch to the back seam. The reason why we do this is to ensure that the sewing lines up and not only that the sewing lines up, but it also helps the sewer know how to get around the pattern. Now we can go on and add our sleeve notches and you can do this however it makes sense for you in your factory or for your brand. So I'm gonna get the notch tool and you can do this either by distance or you can do it by proportion. So if I right click, I can input the exact amount that I want, something like two and a half is usually what I do, and then I would click okay. Or let me go ahead and undo that. You can right click and select ratio to select 33.33 .33, and that way you get the bottom third section. So however you do it is up to you. Just make sure that the corresponding notch on the sleeve matches the distance. I prefer to go in with method one and go in with a distance. That way I don't need to worry. And now I can add in 2.5 and we have a corresponding notch on the sleeve. We also need a top notch at the top of the sleeve cap. This helps the sewer align the seam with that shoulder seam there. So I already know I have a point here right at that top notch where that should go and you can leave it at that or we can add a double notch to the back but you always have the option of doing a little extra if you click pattern annotation tool here it's the big capital letter a you can go ahead and click near your seam allowance and specify the seam allowance you added this will let the cutter sewer know how much seam allowance is there i'm just going to draw an arrow to where that seam allowance goes for clarity and we can click enter to finish and exit out of the tool. So we can do this all the way around the pattern. That way when it gets printed out and it's at the sample makers workstation, they can see how much seam allowance has been added to the pattern. So again, this is optional depending on your workflow and how you do things. 
And when you're done, it might look something like this. Let me know in the comments below if you have any specific topics you'd like me to cover in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.